Welcome, today I'm going to be reviewing Z, a text and code editor written in Rust that is focused on performance, rendering efficiency, and also collaboration and large language model integration. Let's talk a little bit about the history and the company behind the editor. The editor is built by a small company called Z Industries. Some of the team members have worked on the Atom editor and they claim they use their knowledge and over a decade of experience working on code editors and interesting, engaging and complex problems to build the editor of the future using their know-how and the experience they have working on Atom and other interesting projects like Triceter. Before talking about installation, let's talk about the officially supported operating systems. Being written in Rust and Vulkan, the editor is very portable. That being said, the officially supported operating systems are only Mac OS and since recently Linux. Windows is currently not officially supported, although you can compile the editor yourself and run it. To install it on Mac, you can just Google the Z website and download the DMG file from the website. After it downloads, installation process is pretty standard. You can just open and mount the image. And after you accept the license, you can drag Z to your applications folder. And from there, you can just start using it. Z will auto-update, so you don't have to worry about that. The alternative installation on Mac, if you use a package manager, is Homebrew. You can search for Z and you have Z and Z Preview. And just type Brew install Z. After the installation completes, which can take a couple of minutes, you have Z installed and you can start using it. To install Z on Linux, you can just open the download page and there is a pre-made script available which you can run. It will detect your distro and run all the necessary steps to install Z on your system. Let's talk about some of the primary features like code completion, the integrated terminal, multi-buffers, the issues panel, the integrated collaboration features and the large language model features. The features of the editor include code autocompletion and documentation, an integrated terminal, that supports multiple languages and there are extensions available for even more, as the language selection that's built in is not that extensive. One nice feature is the issues panel. I'll make a couple of syntax errors intentionally in this code base in multiple files. And you can see the issues panel lists them in a multi-buffer, which you can edit one by one or even do bulk changes. And when you fix the problems, you can save in this panel. You will see that there are no more issues available. You can use Z's multi-buffers, which is editing multiple files at once to do project search, find and replace. Here I search for class name. I can select multiple items. I can do changes and save them in many files in the same project. Z has a view references by clicking super left click on the mouse. This way it turns into a 3D editor you can use to drill in depth. And of course the AI features. You can do an inline prompt and here I ask it to write a TypeScript function for quick sort. I can also use the assistant panel to the right and give it context with the slash file. I can provide it with files which I am talking about. Then I can ask a specific question. In this case, I want a type or interface for props and it actually defined a proper type that I can use in this case. Z includes some awesome collaboration features. You can add a contact. Contacts are identified by their GitHub account in Z. When you add a contact, he'll be prompted to accept your request. After that, you can call him in a voice call. You can also create channels in which you can chat with multiple team members. Finally, of course, you can actually share a project with any of your collaborators. This will show the project on their screen and they'll be able to collaborate real time with you in the same file and their cursor will be seen while you type code. These are awesome features and they're integrated right into the editor. 
Extensions, of course, are very important for any ID or code editor because the built-in features cannot cover all use cases and languages that you want to write and different assistants that you want to have and teams. Z does support extensions, although the support is not that extensive. Z does support extensions. The selection is quite limited right now. There are 319 at the time of recording. They primarily include language support and themes. Performance is great, as expected. Let's look into some details. On either without any open files, Z consumes about 100 megabytes of memory on my system and CPU usage is neglectable. So basically, you won't have any performance or resource usage issues with Z. The perceived performance while I'm using the editor subjectively is amazing. I get a buttery smooth experience when editing code, selecting text, scrolling, changing tabs, and interacting with everything. The responses are instant, you can feel the high frame rates that are supported by the code editor itself, and that is a very noticeable change compared to Visual Studio Code or even the Java-based editors that JetBrains offer. This wraps my introduction slash review of Z. I tried to show you as many of the features as possible and some tips on installation and how to use the editor. I hope the video was helpful. If you enjoy the content, don't forget to subscribe to get notified when I release another video. Take care.